Hmm. Okay. I know it's no longer 2016. It's 2017. Um, but I gotta do the math, you know, of last year. How last year went for me, you know? So here. math time. Now, let's take 2016. If we take the year 2016 and divide it by 16. Why 16? Because that is how long I had a crush on this girl. 16 years I had a crush on this girl. Okay? Now, so we take 2016 divided by 16, that equals, hang on, 126. Now, so we take this 126. And we divide that by 20. Why 20? Because that is the age I decided to get over this crush. So let's just say year old, I don't know, I don't know, year old. And that equals, well that's going to be a decimal. Six point three. Make sure that's correct. <laughs> All right, six point three. Hmm. Now, this number right here. You know what this number is telling me? That three. This three is half of six of this six so six point three this three is half of six you see where i'm getting that so this three is half of six that's the dot that's what the dot means that's why it's a decimal you know now if that's true if three is half of six that must mean that 3 times 2 equals 6. That's where I'm getting those numbers from. That's how, that, how, that's how that works. So 3 times 2 is 6. Now, we obviously, 6 is a big number here. 2016 is 16 years. 126, right? 6.3. 3 is half of 6. 2 times 3 is 6. So we're going to take this 6. This 6, this answer right here, we're going to take that. And because 3 is half of 6, and 3 times 2 is 6, half, 1 half, 1 divided by 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. We're going to take that 2, and we're going to forget about this 3. We're going to take that 2, because it also makes sense. The twos are also on this. Two is in threes. You see what I'm saying? Two, 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 two under 20. Half of, there's a two and a half, and a half, right? So we're going to take six times two. And that equals 12. Right? So... Now this number is very important. This 12 is very important because this is obviously the last number we're going to do in this math equation. So we've been doing math here, right? It's all numbers. But what's another thing you learn in, in school other than numbers, like the first thing you learn? Letters, right? Letters, of course, letters. So what's the letters? What's the letter part of? What is it called when it's with a group of letters? The alphabet. So if we take the alphabet, 
How many of them are there? One alphabet in the United States is 26 letters. 126 right here. You see this? It all goes back to this number. This number right here. It all goes back to that. One alphabet has 26 letters in the United States, that is. So if we take this 12th, our answer, our final answer, this final answer, and connect it to this 126, which was the first answer, we're obviously going to count 12 letters in the alphabet out of 26. So here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. I reached to 12 letters. And it's the letter L. And do you see this? When I count on my fingers, it forms the L. This math is for me. Do you see where I'm getting at? This year, 2016, technically last year, Ronda Rousey didn't take the biggest L of the year. I did. 